Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for the week of July 6th through the 12th. Uh, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to do you and the other person first, and then I might just do my other little spread that I do just to see whatever else comes up. So what do we have for Taurus in regards to them and the other person? This is a person that you are asking about right now. Okay, you're asking about a person in particular. So get that person in your mind. Focus on that person. Picture that person in your head. Picture that person in your head. You and the other person. The person that you are picturing in your head right now. Okay, what do we have for Taurus? The Hermit. You may be picturing a Virgo. Uh, somebody, it may be a Virgo. doesn't have to be. Which is very interesting because the person I am picturing, and I am a Taurus, is a Virgo. Which is very interesting. But... Um, this is somebody that is very enlightened, very spiritual. Now this is the connection or the uh, resolution, resolution between the two of you. So there is a spiritual connection between the two of you. Okay. Now this is you and this is them. So you're dealing, you could be dealing with a Virgo. That's who you're picturing. That's who you're thinking about. Um, if it's not, it's somebody that may have a Virgo in their chart heavily. This is a very uh, spiritual person. Um, you may be, there may be, a, you guys may be in a state of, you may not be connecting with each other right now, but you are because there is a spiritual connection. Um, ooh. Now, what about them? So they're independent right now, or they're, you know, thinking about their independence. Oh, there's some sort of pain. Whoever you're dealing with is suffering, and, and they're, they're in some sort of pain. They're in some sort of heartache. Um, they're grieving. So they're grieving on the inside. They may be uh, having some sort of regrets. You know, they're hurting. Whoever you're dealing with, Taurus, is hurting. They're hurting. It's the person that you asked about. Uh, this person is wanting a change. They're, they're, they're ready for a change. They've evolved. If you are in a relationship with this person now, they may be wanting to be single. This person is very independent. They're very... Um, um, you're dealing with a hard worker, somebody that is very focused, somebody that is, is very... Uh, uh, valuable. This person, whoever you asked about... Um, is probably wanting to move in a new direction. If they're if they're not single right now, they're wanting to be single. Okay, um, or they may have just gotten out of a situation that um, put them in a state of being single. This is a change, a positive change. Okay, you may be destined. There's some sort of destiny here. There's karma. This is a cycle coming to an end, though. Um, positive change is coming with this person. Life is always changing. Um, whoever you're dealing with is very secure, knows their value, um, is very uh, centered around security and stability. This person is known for perseverance, doesn't give up easily. Um, now this is enjoying life, grateful, um, working a lot, whoever you're dealing with is working a lot, but internally they're suffering, they're suffering and they're ready for a change. They may, I think whoever you're dealing with has just entered a cycle. You are working on your stability, you're grounded, you are secure. You are, um, you have a lot to offer. I think you both have a lot to offer. Um, I, I do feel as though um, you may be uh, feeling angst on the inside. You're feeling uncomfortable. 
You're probably wanting to build a, some sort of foundation with this person. This person may be at a far, you know, there's a lack of communication by the looks of things. I feel like this person is just enjoying their life. They're, they're, they're focused on themselves, very independent energy. And you may be feeling uh, scrambled on the inside. You're feeling uh, uneasy. You're feeling like something is up, probably. I feel like there's no victory here. You're feeling at a loss. You're, you're, you're probably feeling... Um, oh... Like there's no staying power. Maybe you can't stay here. You know, or that they're not going to stay or something like that. Because this is a lose. Like, you, like you've lost. Maybe you're feeling like you've lost an opportunity with this person. This person is beautiful. Whoever you're dealing with. This person is beautiful. They're strong. They're independent. Uh, they, they don't need another person to complete them. And I think that maybe, you know, you're feeling like you're not good enough. I think that you have a lot to offer them, but they're just so focused on themselves and not in a bad way either. This person is a very positive thinker, thinks positive. I feel like you need to give it time. You need to be patient and maybe you need to come up with some sort of plan. There's planning that is needed, needed with this card. And maybe, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo that is planning something. Okay. They're, they're going through a state of enlightenment right now. They're going through some sort of, you know, this is a chapter that is ending in their life. Okay. So they're, they've evolved, right? They're strong. They're independent. They're wanting their independence right now. So maybe whoever you're dealing with is re-identifying themselves and while they're doing it, they're, they're healing from some sort of pain. They've been in some sort of suffering state, okay? They've been suffering and now they're, they're going through a period of building themselves back up and, it, and, it's, and it, they're doing a really good job. So that's whoever you're asking about. Um, there's been some sort of, this is like a permanent loss here. I think that you are probably feeling this loss. You're feeling this this upheaval. You're feeling this life change. And I feel like you're feeling, you know, this is a loss. This is a permanent breakdown and this is a, this is a loss. So I feel like you're you're needing to regain your stability and know your value and hold on to your value, hold on to your worth because you know, if this person isn't quite ready or they're going their own way, you know, know that know know what you're worth. You you don't want to build a false foundation with somebody that you know is wanting to go in another direction. Um, so let's get some more. We're gonna go back around again one more time. Alright, so this is this is uh next to the hermit reversed is seeing somebody there's a there's a frustration here. We have somebody here that is frustrated. Uh there's frustration between the two of you. There's no there's no positive change that is coming as of yet because there's too much resistance. It's like somebody has re-identified. They're not the same person that they used to be, but they're they're flogging a dead dead horse by staying put in a situation that is actually dead. So I think right now it may be a time, it, it, we are in a time of restriction. So I think that somebody may be in a situation that is dead because of the restrictions that the world has put on us. Okay, so there's the, there's like a lack of working with this person because of the restrictions or there's a lack of change. Change is coming. Okay, with the tower and the, the Wheel of Fortune card, change is coming. But there's a lot of worldly restrictions that are, that are causing a delay, per se. All right. Um, here we have the, the tower reverse and the king of wands reverse. Now this is in your, on your side. So you are probably definitely feeling frustrated. Like things are out of control. You can't control it. It's lack of control. It's out of your control. I feel as though, uh, you're not interested. You know, there's a lack of interest. There's a lack of desire. There's a lack, maybe there's even a lack of, um, passion. There's no passion here. There's no opportunity to rebuild if there's no fire, there's no flame, there's no spark. It's like the spark is gone and there's really nothing you can do about it. So I feel like, 
you know, you may be feeling angry. You may be feeling angry and upset and very frustrated over the fact that whoever you're dealing with seems to be uh, unrequited love, okay? Wanting to be alone, wanting to be single. Um, that's what it looks like to me. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who just doesn't, isn't really reciprocating that much. And I think they're not reciprocating because they're, they're, they, they, are feeling tied down. They're feeling weighed down. They're hurting. They're 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 wanting to. Uh, they're want. There's a lack of passion here. There's a lack of passion. So they're they're hurting. They're hurting. Whoever you're dealing with is is suffering. Now you could be. You say you're over here and you're waiting for somebody. You know this person was dealing with another person that may have controlled them, may have forced them, may have been. Um, a drama queen, you know, may have caused a lot of, uh, well, this person may have cheated. There's something going on here with this queen of whoever you are dealing with was probably dealing with another person that was very controlling of them. Okay. Uh, they don't want to be controlled. You know, there's a lack of confidence. This is, this is high confidence, but this is the queen of wands in reverse is somebody that lacks confidence that has a self image problem that is melodramatic, that is nasty and jealous and lies. So, you know, the, somebody may have been dealing with a liar over here and lie. It hurts when you find out that, you know, you're dealing with somebody that is malicious or doesn't have good intentions or, you know, cheats or something like that. And there's some sort of regrets here. This person, whoever you're dealing with, is probably regretting uh, what they have done. And it's probably, you know, it's too late. You can't, you can't change what has happened, okay? Uh, whoever you're de dealing with is definitely very spiritual and has you know, some sort of psychic ability. And I think that they are going to be changing their direction in the near future. Right now, they're still, they're still having a hard time finding the confidence and the courage to uh, follow their heart. Okay, this person wants to have fun. They want to open their heart. They probably want to be single. They want to be alone. But they, there's a lot, there's something that is, is preventing them from doing so. You know, and it may be another person, okay, or it's the world, it's what's going on in the world. Anyhow, um, you, this is a loss, not putting in effort, there's really nothing you can do, no matter what you do. You can't make somebody fall in love with you in the, if they're not ready or if they're not there. Um, Queen of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles, seeing clearly of what you, who you are, what you're worth. This major life change that you are experiencing, that you are feeling that is very disruptive in your life, yes, it's probably making you angry, it's making you upset, um, there's nothing you can do to change it, is is really teaching you about self-worth, it is, it's teaching you about your value. You are going to see clearly that you have another option, and my advice is to hold on to your value, somebody is going to see your worth. But it's not the right time, okay, because it feels like there's worldly restrictions here that are preventing you from, um, you know, moving forward in whatever direction it is that you want to move in. Whoever you are dealing with is dealing with another person that they are feeling some sort of heartache over. So that's what's going on with them. And I think that you are feeling a lot of inner upset, anger, uh, at a loss, you know, uh, internal disruption over this whole uh, re-identification that's happening. It's against your will. I think it is definitely against your will. Um, whoever you're dealing with, um, if they are in a relationship now, they are going to be single. They want to be single. They are dealing with a person that they just don't have any passion for. Um, and I feel like a change is coming. You need to be patient. Um, the wheel is going to spin. Okay, the wheel is going to spin. This person is going through a spiritual awakening, per se. And you can't... It is what it is. When you evolve, you evolve. Um, there's some sort of telepathic communication here as well, I feel. I feel like... Um, 
there's just a restriction. This person may be at a distance for some of you. Um, there's some unfinished business with this person. Um, But right now there's a lack of communication or there's jealousy issues or there's not effective communication. This person isn't communicating effectively. They're withdrawn, okay, they're withdrawn. And they're withdrawn because they're suffering over another person. But things will change, things will change. So this week, I feel as though it's it's going to be a very quiet week. I don't think that you're going to get much out of this person. I feel like you're going to be uh, working on your own value. You're going to be um, letting go of illusion. You are probably going to be feeling angry and upset over this loss that you know that is coming. Okay, something is coming. And I feel like it's out of your control. Um, You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, another Virgo. Somebody, there's gonna. This is the end of a chapter, and you may have sensed it, or they may have sensed it. This is this is an inner knowing that things are about to change. This person is highly intuitive they know that whatever is happening is going nowhere and there is going to be a change this is a one-sided relationship that they may be in now it is going to end it is so I feel like this week is a week of uh, introspection okay introspection uh, no positive change coming right now because there's too much resistance whoever you're dealing with has some unfinished business with somebody uh, else good luck I'm not gonna do the little spread that was long enough good luck